What's going on guys, it is Pangino here and today I'm going to bring you guys the ultimate FPS increase guide for Sea of Thieves and more specifically the Sea of Thieves anniversary update. Sea of Thieves has been out for around about a year or so and it's recently just received its anniversary update which has added in a ton of new quest lines and tons of new content. With this update and the time since the release last year, the game has gone through tons of different iterations and optimizations. Regardless of what sort of system you're running on, you should be seeing phenomenal increases with inside of this video and you'll be achieving the very best FPS possible for your machine. This video features tailored configs towards each individual system spec alongside optimizations which will benefit you not just with inside of Sea of Thieves but practically every single game you play and other power hungry tasks you use on Windows. If you guys are satisfied with the results at the end of this video please leave a like on the video as it helps me out tremendously alongside leaving any results, questions, queries or suggestions for other content in that comment section down below as it is always fantastic to hear from you guys. Alongside that if you guys do enjoy content like this and you wish to stay updated with the latest and greatest in optimization videos and other guides or community suggested content please do consider pressing the subscription button alongside the bell notification next to that to be notified instantly whenever I upload. With all that being said and done, let's get straight into the video to keep this as fast and as informative as possible. So starting off with the video, what we're going to be doing is actually downloading the FPS increase pack provided in the description down below. Head into the description down below, there'll be two links. Try the first link, if for some reason the first link doesn't work or you're having trouble downloading it, try out the backup link just underneath it. Go to one of the links, select the download page, download the file and you'll be given a file named Sea of Thieves FPS Pack by Pange. Now to unpack the folder with inside of this file, all you simply need to do is right click and select the extract here option. If you guys do not have the option to extract here, you'll need to navigate over to Google and either Google 7-Zip or WinRAR, install one of those programs to your PC, you don't need both, just select one of them, come back to this video, select the extract here option and you should be good to go. Once you guys have extracted the folder, you'll be given a folder on your desktop with an identical name. Inside of the folder, you'll be met with config, optimizations, and a command text document. These are the folders and files we're going to be going through throughout this video to ensure that we are optimizing our PCs to the very best of their ability. So to jump right into it and to start off with the optimizations, first of all, what we're going to be doing is actually installing our customized optimized game config file. To do this, what we're going to be doing is navigating into the FPS increase pack provided and navigating inside of the config folder. Inside of here, you'll be met with three configs. You'll be met with a high-end config, low-end config, and a recommended config. So to find out which config you're going to be installing for your system, you're going to be matching the config name to your system specs. If you guys are running on a lower end or an older PC, go with the low end config for the best results. If you guys are running on an ultra high end and you wish to keep most of the visual candy and a really nice looking game, but you want a nice FPS increase boost as well, go with the high end config. But for the majority of you guys running on somewhat capable systems, all the way up from medium end, all the way to ultra high end, I would recommend going with the recommended config. As this meets a nice fine balance of FPS and visuals but select the config in which best matches your system specs. So for me, I'm going to be going with the recommended config. But inside of the config folder you select, you'll then be met with a game user settings configuration file. To install this configuration file, it's very simple and easy to do. What we're going to be doing is simply navigating to the left-hand side and selecting the Windows button. Inside of here, we're going to type in percent, app data, percent, just like so, and then press enter. With inside of the folder that opens up, what we're going to be doing is navigating up to the app data folder found here at the directory, then navigating down into local. We're then going to proceed to go all the way down to the P section, and we're looking for the folder titled packages. With Inside of here, what we're simply going to be doing is scrolling down to where it says Microsoft dot, look for the S section, we're looking for Microsoft dot C of Thieves underscore whatever it says after that. As long as it says C of Thieves, go into that folder. Inside of there, what we're going to be doing then is going inside of the local state folder, then going inside of the Athena folder, going into saved, config, UWP64. What you're simply then going to be doing is navigating over to the right hand side to the FPS increase pack config in which we found earlier on. Then simply dragging this over and dropping it inside of our game installation directory and hitting replace the file in this destination. Once you guys have done that, you've now successfully installed your optimized game config file for the best performance possible. Proceeding on from there, what we're now going to be doing is actually applying a EXE fix to the game application itself to ensure that Windows is running this in the highest priority mode available to ensure that most of the resources on your machine are going towards the game application to give you guys a much snappier and faster experience in terms of FPS and input lag. We're going to be going inside of the FPS increase pack once again, this time going inside of the optimizations folder and navigating into the Sea of Thieves or SOT process manager. Inside of here, you'll be met with three keys. These three keys will set the priority mode with inside of Windows for Sea of Thieves. For instance, if you click on the high priority key, see if these will automatically boot in high priority mode with inside of Windows every single time you boot the game and you'll never have to touch this again. For some of you guys running on older or lower end systems, you might find that you get better FPS and better results using the above normal priority key, but you can come around and experiment around with this. But for the most part, I'd recommend double clicking on the SOT high priority key just like so, selecting yes, and it'll then notify you that everything has successfully been changed and then press OK, and it's just that simple and easy to have applied. Piggybacking off of that step for the game application again, as we can set some further Windows optimization 
optimizations to the game exe to once again further optimize it and reduce input lag to do this what we're going to be doing is simply booting into the game in whichever way you normally do so whether that be through a desktop shortcut whether it be the left side of your screen or through the xbox app or windows game store just simply boot into the game and make sure that the game loads up once you guys are met with the sea of thieves anniversary update page and it says press any key to continue what you guys are going to go ahead and do is press alt and enter on your keyboards to put the game into windowed mode once the game is in window mode what we're then going to be doing is navigating down to our taskbar on our desktop and right clicking we're then going to select task manager once you guys are inside of the task manager what we're then going to be doing is navigating over to the right hand side and clicking on the details tab inside of here we're then going to proceed to scroll all the way up to the top and you're going to be looking for where it says c of thieves game.exe or sot game.exe once you guys have found the exe with inside of here simply go ahead and right click on it go down to open file location and you'll then be brought to this folder found here with inside of here what we're then going to be doing is going to sot game right clicking and selecting properties inside of here we're then going to be going to the compatibility tab we're then going to proceed to come down to settings and check the box for disable full screen optimizations also going into change our dpi settings and overriding high dpi scaling behavior performed by checking that box pressing ok pressing apply ok and we can then exit out of all of the folders and the game itself as that optimization has now been completed but for one of the last game specific optimizations what we're going to be doing is actually booting into the game and navigating into the settings menu to fine-tune our settings for our personal preference to do this what we're going to be doing is simply navigating down and booting into the game in whichever way you tend to do so another quick tip for any of you guys that experience a lot of crashes especially if you tab out during the game and it says something along the lines of you've been disconnected make sure to tab out of the game you actually press alt and enter to put the game into windowed mode and then you can tab out freely and you'll never be disconnected from the servers just make sure once you come back to come and play the game tab into the game press alt enter and put it back to full screen mode and you're good to go once you guys have booted inside of the game once again make sure that you press alt and enter to make sure the game is running in full screen mode with inside of here what i'd highly recommend doing rather than going into the settings menu inside of the main menu i'd recommend actually booting into the game loading into the world because you can then monitor things live okay so once you guys have booted into the game what i'd recommend doing is actually navigating outside it doesn't matter which part of the world you've actually spawned in on just get yourself to a decent distance, find somewhere on the map where you can see most things such as lights, shadows, sky effects and water. Take yourself into the settings menu, go down to graphics settings and you can fiddle around with the texture detail inside of here. Now proceeding on from there and to one of the most important FPS improvements in which you can get on pretty much any PC if you are a Discord user. It does not matter what your system specs are, it doesn't matter if you're on the best gaming PC possible for the money right now, it doesn't matter if you're on an ultra low end laptop, you should be applying this Discord fix as it will benefit every single person watching this video. What you're going to be doing to apply this fix is to navigate into Discord at the bottom of your screen, navigate to the bottom left hand side to your mute and unmute buttons and select the user settings cog. With inside of here we're then going to proceed to navigate to the left hand side once again and find the appearance tab. With inside of the appearance tab what we're then going to be doing is navigating all the way down to the bottom by scrolling all the way down, going to the advanced options and finding the option for hardware acceleration. If the hardware acceleration option is turned on, make sure that you do go to the flicker switch and switch it to the off position. Once that's then been applied, Discord will then automatically restart and hardware acceleration will then be disabled with inside of Discord. And that now moves us on to some of the most important optimizations with inside of this video. If for any reason you have followed any of the following steps in this video, whether it be from my guides, other guides online or anything, if you come in here and change some of these settings yourself, make sure that you do come in here and reapply these steps, even if you know you've done them. The reason I'm saying this is because most of the time with Windows updates, a lot of these settings can be reverted back to default and you wouldn't have even known so so if you have done any of these steps in the past make sure that you do come in here retrace your steps and apply them again and for the rest of you guys watching this video that have never applied any of these optimizations in the past you're in for a treat as these are going to be some of the most important optimizations to any game not just sea of thieves to start off what we're going to be doing is navigating to the bottom left hand side and typing in power plan just like so once you guys have typed that in, click on any of the options with this icon, which is going to be a battery with a cord going around it. Doesn't matter what the option says, just click on any of the options. With inside of here, what we're then going to be doing is going over to the power options tab found here at the top. You'll then be brought to this page here, which is going to be choose or customize a power plan. With inside of this page, go to the show additional plans, and what we're going to be doing is looking for the ultimate performance power plan. Now, for the majority of you guys watching this video, you should not be seeing an ultimate performance power plan, but if you are running on any version of Windows 10, you can actually unlock this power plan with inside of Windows 10. It's a secret performance mode in which you can enable with an matter of seconds this is the second most important step with inside of this entire video and can sometimes completely transform how your pc performs in heavy demanding tasks such as games and other power hungry tasks such as video editing photoshop or any other work so to unlock the ultimate performance power plan if you're not seeing it with inside of this page what we're going to be doing is simply going ahead and minimizing this page we're then going to navigate into the fps increase pack provided and go inside of the command text document just like so with inside of here what we're then going to be doing is highlighting all the way from the right hand side to the left just like so highlighting and selecting copy 
Once you guys have done that, exit out of the command notepad, exit out of the FPS increase pack, and what we're then going to be doing is navigating to the bottom left hand side with inside of Windows, and typing in CMD, just like so. Navigate over to where it says command prompt, and this is very important, right click, and make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator. If you do not run command prompt as an administrator, this optimization will not be recognized and nothing will happen. So once command prompt is opened up, simply go ahead and press control on your keyboard and then press V just like so, and this will paste in that command. Once the command has been pasted in, simply then go ahead and press the enter button. You should then say power scheme GUID, a bunch of numbers, in brackets, ultimate performance. Once you guys have got that message found there, simply then go ahead and exit out of the command prompt and you've successfully unlocked the ultimate performance power plan with inside of Windows 10. To apply the ultimate performance power plan, what we're then gonna be doing is coming back inside of here which we minimized earlier on going ahead to the power options tab found here at the top once again clicking the refresh button at the top right going into the show additional power plans and you should then be seeing ultimate performance power plan with inside of here then go ahead and simply just highlight it just like so make sure that the dot has then been checked inside of there we can then go ahead and exit out of the power plan page as that optimization has now successfully been applied now to completely finish with that optimization we're then going to be applying a piggyback optimization in which we had to set up our power plan properly beforehand before doing this so what we're going to be doing is navigating into the fps increase pack provided once again going inside of the optimizations folder and we're then going to be going inside of the quick cpu setup version 3010 by double clicking inside of here on the bottom hand side of the screen you should be seeing a brief explanation as to what this program does and the benefits in which it offers you it's completely safe to use will not increase heat and i've yet to see a system which has not benefited from having this installed to it so once the setup wizard has opened up navigate to the bottom and select next accept the terms for the license agreement selecting next once again next and finally install after a few short moments the program will be installed to your system make sure that the launch option down here has been selected and then press finish. The program should automatically then open up and should load after a few minutes. So to start off what we're going to be doing is navigating to the top left hand side and selecting power data going into the system power plan drop down menu and selecting the power plan in which we set earlier on. For most of us watching this video we're going to be going with ultimate performance. Once you guys have selected that what we're then going to be doing is navigating to the bottom left hand side and going to core parking index and dragging the slider. We're going to drag the slider all the way up to 100% to unlock 100% of our CPU cores. Navigating to the right hand side to frequency scaling index which will be the speed of those cores and once again 100%. And last but not least for some of you guys watching this video you might not have this option but if you do have the option go to turbo boost index and once again select 100% on those as well. Ensuring that 100% of your CPU cores are available to Windows at 100% of the speed as and when Windows might need it. This is completely safe to do and I'd highly recommend doing this for everyone watching this video. Now, once everything has been set up correctly navigate to the bottom right hand side and press the apply button. With a notify that changes have successfully been applied press ok and we can then exit out of that program as that optimization has now been completed. Proceeding on from there we can actually go into the nitty gritty settings with inside of Windows to prioritize gaming tasks at a higher priority with inside of Windows itself to ensure that they're getting more allocated resources than other programs. Your resources and system power will be absolutely fine for every other thing you use besides games, it will not slow down your system in any way, it just means that gaming applications can reach that little bit extra performance with inside of your PC. To do this what we're going to be doing is navigating to the bottom left hand side and typing in reg edit just like so, then go ahead and press the enter key. Once you then type that in, the registry editor for Windows will then open up. With inside of here, we're going to be navigating down to HK Local Machine, double clicking, and then going inside of the software folder and double clicking. We're then going to proceed to go down to the M section and find the folder for Microsoft. Go inside of Microsoft, scroll all the way down to the W section, and we're going to be looking for the folder titled Windows NT. Double click on Windows NT, go inside of current version, then again scroll all the way down to the M section this time and we're going to be looking for the folder titled Multimedia. Inside of Multimedia, go inside of System Profile but just click on System Profile once. Inside of System Profile, we're going to be navigating to the right hand side and you should be seeing a key titled System Responsiveness. If you don't see this key, don't worry, but if you do see it, double click on it and what we're going to be doing is setting the value data to 1 or 0. If you guys are running on a high-end gaming PC or a new gaming PC, set the value to 0. If you guys are running on a slightly older PC or a laptop or something with a, low, with a little bit lower end spec or it's a few years old, set the value data to 1. So for me, seeing I'm recording this video on my high-end gaming PC, I'm going to be setting the value data to 0 and pressing OK. You can then navigate back over to the System Profile folder on the left-hand side, double-clicking on it this time, going inside of Tasks, and then going down to Games. Inside of Games, we're then going to be changing four options with inside of here, starting with GPU Priority. Double-clicking on GPU Priority, setting the value data to 8. We're then going to proceed to go ahead and press OK, then navigating down to Priority, this time setting the value data to 6, pressing OK, then moving down to scheduling category, setting the value data to high, which is going to be HIGH, pressing OK. And last but not least, SFIO priority, double clicking, and again, setting to HIGH, which is going to be high. 
Once you guys have done that, go ahead and press OK. And we can then proceed to go to the top of the registry editor and exit out as that optimization has now been successfully applied. Now for one of the last and final optimizations within inside of this video before we proceed on is to actually update your GPU drivers for your graphics card. This is extremely effective, completely free, and it's one of the highly recommended things I'd recommend to do for anyone watching this video. It shocks me how many people have never updated their GPU drivers, let alone not updating them on a frequent basis. They are free, easy to install and download, and I'd recommend doing this at least once every three months or so to ensure that you guys stay up to date with the best performance possible for the hardware in which you've paid good money for. So to update your GPU drivers, I'd recommend doing it now before getting to the end of the video as you won't be able to apply some of the settings later on on an old driver. So if you are going to update your GPU drivers, make sure that you do it now. To update your GPU drivers, you'll navigate into the description down below and you'll see a link for both NVIDIA and AMD drivers. Click on the link for the graphics card you have installed to your system. For NVIDIA users, you'll be brought to this website here. What you'll then do is go to automatic driver updates found here at the top, select download on the utility, download the program, install it. It will detect and install the latest driver for you and your system specs. For you AMD Radeon users, it's a very similar process. What you'll be doing is navigating to this page found here, scrolling all the way down to the bottom, going to the auto detect and install Radeon graphics driver for Windows utility, selecting download now, download the program, it will detect and install everything for you and get you, and get you up and running on the latest GPU driver. Assuming that you guys have now updated your GPU drivers, one last thing I'd highly recommend, you can actually check in the description down below and a card on the screen in the top right hand side now is actually going to be a link to my ultimate GPU overclocking guide. It's one of the most effective optimizations with inside of any PC and I'd highly recommend doing it for absolutely everyone that can. Most GPUs can see around about 5 to 25 percent FPS increase without having to spend a penny. Overclocking is free, easy, and you pretty much can't mess it up in the modern day as there are so many fail safes and you cannot damage your equipment. I find overclocking incredibly rewarding, it's interesting, and you guys can educate yourself on something and which can help out you and many of your friends. So assuming that we've now completed pretty much every single optimization with inside of this video and we're very close to finishing up, before we apply the last and final optimization, what I'd highly recommend you guys do is navigate into the bottom left hand side, right click on your power button and select restart. Restart your PC, come back to this video, make sure that CFT is ready to boot up into, and we're going to get on with the last and final optimization. Welcome back to the video guys, you guys should have now restarted your PCs, be back and ready to continue on with the last and final optimization. To do that, what we're going to be doing is navigating into the FPS increase pack provided one last time and going inside of the optimizations folder. But inside of here, we're then going to get the folder for ISLC, which is actually going to be the intelligent standby list cleaner for Windows, and dragging this folder onto your desktop. You can leave the folder with inside of the FPS increase pack if you wish to do so, but you're going to want to be coming back inside of this folder most of the time when you boot your PC. For a brief explanation and demonstration as to why you would use this program and how to set this program up and how it benefits you, it allows you to set the time and resolution with inside of Windows, which can drastically help lower input lag and improve FPS for pretty much every single task available. Alongside that, it also has another option which allows you guys to actually stop other standby services in the background and free up excess RAM to ensure that you always have overhead RAM in your system to keep everything running smoothly and properly. So to set the program up and how to use the program, what you'll do is you'll navigate inside of the folder and select the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner.exe by double clicking. If the program doesn't open up, navigate into the bottom right hand side and you should be seeing a small digital screen and double click on it. Inside of here what we're going to be doing is navigating to the right hand side to set up the timer resolution first of all. Go down to the wanted time resolution box and type in a value of 0.50 just like so. You might have to check the enable custom time resolution box here to be able to edit this and once that's done go ahead and press start. You can then proceed to navigate to the left hand side. We're going to start off with the top box which is going to be the list size is at least and setting this to 1024. Once that top box has been set up, the second box is going to be half of your installed system RAM. You can see your total system RAM found here at the top, so what you're gonna do is simply half this number found at the top. So if this number's 8,000, you'll set this to 4,000. If it's 16,000, you'll set this to 8,000, and vice versa. Whether that's higher or lower, you just simply half this number. So for me, that's gonna be 8196, which is roughly going to be eight gigabytes of RAM. Make sure it's half. Once it's then been set up, click on Purge Standby List, then hit Start in the bottom right hand side, and you can then minimize the program. I recommend doing that every time you restart your system, make sure that you boot into the ISLC and it will keep all of your games running to the best of their ability. The program is now running, so that means that everything has now been done. We've successfully optimized the game and Windows for the best performance possible, not just with inside of Sea of Thieves, but pretty much every game you play. That leaves us with one last thing left to do. That is actually going to the bottom left hand side, click on Windows, select Sea of Thieves and play the game. And there you guys have it, my ultimate FPS increase guide for Sea of Thieves, more specifically with inside of the Sea of Thieves anniversary update, celebrating the one year anniversary of Sea of Thieves being released. Hopefully you guys are more than satisfied with the performance gains with inside of this guide. If you are, please leave a like on the videos, it helps me out tremendously, alongside leaving results, questions, queries, and suggestions for other content you'd like to see on this channel, whether that be FPS guides for certain games or how-tos. Alongside that guys, please do consider pressing the subscription button alongside the bell notification to be notified instantly of when I upload any content. Thank you Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully the results have been more than worth it. I've been Panjano and I'll see you in the next one.